Come and catch the vibe. Welcome to Easy Weekend. It's Easy Weekend. So shout out M Easy and tune in to the sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Welcome back. It's the sit down. It's your guy M Easy. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, notifications, and all that good stuff. Uh, across from me this afternoon is Miss Lexi. Hola. Formerly sexy Lexi. Yes. How's everything going? Everything's great. I'm blessed. How are you? I'm great. Just as blessed as you, actually. <laughs> Thank you. Last time we spoke, you were as a part of BBOD. Yes, I was. And that is no more? No, no longer. Why is that? I just wanted to work on my own solo career and brand myself as an artist, as a solo artist, after a lot of things happen, you know, breakups and things that groups go through and friendships. And I just feel like we outgrew each other. Mm. Okay, so what has life been like as a solo artist for you? It's been really, really good. It's been good. I was able to really find myself who I am versus being in a group because sometimes you have to, well, not sometimes, all the time you have to compromise and sometimes you can't fully be or do what you want to do because you're still still in the group, you know what I'm saying? So now that I'm solo, I don't really have to care about how (laughs) anybody else feels. I could just do what I want, so it's good. What were some of the things that you feel was uh, constricting your... your, uh I would definitely say my sound. I would say in the past it was more like rappy, lyrical. Now I'm like singing more, melodic, um, harmonizing more. Because I have a soft voice. So I always felt like even though I was a rapper, rapper, like from Harlem, it was like, huh, it's cool, but it's not really me. Like Mm. I don't love doing it, but it's still cool. You know what I'm saying? But now I really could get into my zone with my music. So Lexi's in the building. It's a sit down. (laughs) She got M.E. So you still uh, managed by Riley or no? No, I'm not. I have no manager right now. Why? I'm just, you know, a free figuring agent. it out. Figuring it out. Got you. So, <laughs> so since Love and Hip Hop, what, what's been going on in your life? Since Love and Hip Hop, oh, life has been crazy. Go ahead. Talk um, about it. That's what we're here to do. Not only am I now, like, known worldwide, so everywhere I go is like, oh, my God, is that Lexi? You know, I deal with that. Mm-hmm. And then as well as being an artist, I also want to brand and I am acting now, so I want to really? branch off into acting. Did you take acting classes? I started with the acting coach. Her name is Tracy, but I want to like find more time to do it, which is something that I'm working on for the new year. And I also shot a movie already. I shot my own movie. It's about um, some stuff I went through in a toxic relationship. It's called Talk- Suffocated. What's it called? It's called Suffocated. I oh. actually shot it like two weeks ago in the Atlanta. Whole movie. The whole movie. I did it in like two weeks. How long is the movie? It's going to be... We want to do an hour, like an hour 20, but I think it's going to be like 40 to an hour. Okay, so tell me the synopsis of this movie. Okay, so the Suffocate. synopsis of the movie is basically about a girl. She's an artist, um, and she's with someone who she wanted a lot with like, as far as family, as far as building, you know, someone to trust. And he's insecure, and basic. I don't want to give it all away, but it's just... A suffocated situation like she feels suffocated okay okay can i give my two cents here go ahead it's insecure in what manner insecure because she's around people that have more money than him people that are more famous than him insecure in what way please elaborate honestly i i thought that but then i realized when i really got to the root of the issue that it was just insecurities with himself i just feel like he wasn't happy with himself because i would still invite him out um i was faithful he had all my passwords to everything, but still found a way to make an excuse to be mad about something. So that's just insecurities within yourself as a guy. But. But, yes. But. What does anybody else have to do with how he feels? It, okay, I, at least as a man. Okay. And, and I'm in this industry and my lady's sitting here. It's my job to make sure she's secure. Right. So I, I will try to do things to make sure she doesn't feel insecure. Amen. Were you doing such things? Yes, I was. A hundred percent. I promise you. I even did things I was uncomfortable doing that such he as, requested. Such as? <sighs> I don't know how. Um, <laughs> you know, stuff in the bedroom, stuff like that. Anything, like anything. <laughs> Is that insecure? I don't know. What you think? I see. I don't know exactly what we're speaking on. Like, is there is there is there another person in the bedroom? Yes. Is, uh... <sighs> yes, there's another person in the bedroom. So you know, and that still it still wasn't enough. Really, nothing was enough. That's that was that was all I need. Nothing was enough. <laughs> Anyways, it's the sit down. <laughs> she got it easy in the building. What's Lexi. going on? Is the inside going on? In yes, here? that's my that's my wife right here. Hi, um, wifey. And um. The Your running joke is, is 
I, I wasn't gonna marry her until I got a threesome. <gasps> but as Did you, you could it? see, I got You're married, married anyway, and I didn't have a threesome. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not insecure. <laughs> right? I just, just wanna, you know. Anyways, back to you, Lexi. Yes, okay. back to me. Back so to me. when when is the movie drop? So the movie, hopefully, I want I want the trailer to come out by Black Friday, but if it doesn't, everything will be out in the beginning of 2020. Really? Yes. So now, don't you have a project that you just released this week? My project comes out October 24th. I had a listening party this week, which was Wednesday. Oh, it was a listening party, yeah. I see. Okay. on the 16th, and my birthday was the 17th. I'm still celebrating, y'all. Well, happy belated. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Just uh, a question. Yes. Why didn't you couple the project with the movie? Because honestly, I've been working on releasing a project for a long time. And this would have been the perfect, like, bang, movie, project, haven't seen it me in a while. It might be another something else when the, when the movie come out. You never know. I want points. If it's not already in and Kimberly, <laughs> I know you hear me. I want points because y'all going to start working on it as soon as they get out of here. <laughs> uh-huh. I got a million of these ideas up in this brain. I'm going to have to come sit down so we can talk about these ideas. Uh, listen. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, anything else we need to know? Yes, the name of my project is The Diamond. It will be out Why October. the diamond? Okay, so basically the meaning behind The Diamond is diamonds are made under pressure. And I feel like um, the past year and a half, I've been going through a lot, you know, with people in my life or things that I had to go through that I had to bounce back from. And I think, honestly, at first it becomes like you're depressed about it or you feel down about it. But then if you embrace it and you get through it, it makes you a better version of yourself. Mm -hmm. I feel like everything I went through definitely made me stronger. It definitely opened my eyes to a lot more. And now I'm a different person. So I'm a diamond. I'm a better version of myself. Okay. I, 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 can, I can dig it. Diamonds are made it. under pressure, you know? Um, <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it, yeah, going through the break of, break of a BBW, B, BBOD, BBOD. Mm -hmm. um, and then the situation with your... your... My ex-fiance, who's now married. Oh, fiance? Yes. Oh, this one hurt then. No, I mean, I didn't want to be with him, with him anymore, but it's just other things that happened oh. that put me through the toxic stuff. So so you called off the wedding? I called off the wedding. I'm trying to think of how many women I've, I've thought of that called off the wedding. Wow. Yeah. And he's now married again with yeah, someone it's new? it's been a year. A and do you know the person he's married to now? Um, I don't know her personally, but we shared a mutual friend that I thought was cool, and she's the one who hooked them up. So, is you know yeah what? that that's though is that suffocated? Heard you. Yeah, the diamond. Down. <laughs> it's your guy at Easy Lexi's in the building. <laughs> um, how do you feel about music now with the streaming and everything else, and your your work ethic and what you're doing? How do you feel about music now? I Honestly, I feel like it's a gift and a curse. It's a great thing because now it's much easier to get your content out there versus what we had to do before mm -hmm. as far as putting in that footwork. Now you could just put something on your phone and it can go viral within seconds. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. I think it's good. But at the same time, I feel like it opens up the lane so wide that I'm not going to say people who aren't talented because I feel like everyone has a talent. But I just feel like people who aren't really artists are able to now become artists versus the people you know what I'm trying okay. to say. No, no, no. See, because <laughs> I, I like that because um, as a radio personality, I feel like sometimes the the genre and the profession gets watered down with all yes. these podcasters. And I feel like all you have to have now is a following That's and it. then you'll be an artist next. Yes. And I feel like some artists should start to feel like offended. Like just because you have a following doesn't mean right. you could do what like, I do. Like it'll be like a comedian or someone who just went viral for something. And now they got a, a They'll single. drop a song, it'll go crazy, and now you're being compared to them. And I'm just like, how? Like yeah. how? Like I put in work for real. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> talking about. So who are you listening to now? Who, who are some of um, the people you're listening to? Summer Walker. Yo, she could, yeah. That's my boo right there. She got some heat. Um, who else I listen to? I like that big drip. I was listening to that on the way here. Young M.A.? No. Um, I think his name is Five Foreign or something. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I'm thinking big That's drip, dope. small problem, big moves. My bad. <laughs> Sorry. I got to listen to that, though, because I heard her project oh, just Young came MA out. Oh, Young M.A. fire. It's fire? Absolutely. I'm going to tune in. I like Young M.A. She cool. Now, when you listen to music, are you where are you when you're usually listening to music? In the car, sometimes, honestly, it's like up and down. Sometimes I'm in the car and I completely want to be silent and just listen to my thoughts. That's being honest. But then sometimes I want to turn up like on my way down here, I was turning up. Or I'll be in the house or just with friends, regular mm. stuff. 
anything personal we should know. What do you want people to know to connect with you more? Now that you've got this project, the movie coming, you're going to need people to connect. gravitate to you. Yeah, yes. you know, I just feel like, especially with the, you know, with the female lane right now, everyone tries to portray something I guess that's hot or that's cool. I get it um, as far as being a girl that, being a hot girl, being, you know, a city girl, whatever. All of that's cool because I'm with it 100%. You got your but, degree. But we have other sides as well. So it's like I want to be able to come in and tell the other sides because that's what I go through every day. I go through breakups. I go through betrayals. I might break a nigga heart. Oh, I don't, sorry. You can curse. You good. <laughs> you know, we might go through things. So it was like seeing other sides. Like back in the day, you had Laura Hill. You had Eve. You had, you know, a bunch mm -hmm. of different artists, not just Little Kim, not just Foxy. So that's it. Lexi's out here, y'all. I'm out here. What's the name of the project again? The Diamond. Go go stream it. Go listen to I'm it. All that good stuff. Yes. Any, anything else we need to uh, know about going on in your life that we could uh, check get into? To? No, that's it. Just my movie. Um, I'm also going to drop my clothing line that I've been working on for a long time. It's called Velvet Cakes. Is this part of the clothing line? No, this is not it oh. today. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's called Velvet Cakes. I have an Instagram Why for Velvet it. Why Velvet Cakes? That because. sounds sexy. I'm not going to lie to you, right? That's not, it is sexy. It's Go a ahead. sexy sweatsuit line for the ladies. Ooh. And um, it's like all velvet material. But then I played with other materials as well. But I, it started off originally with like that velvet, like how Anichi and mm. that kind of, I love that fabric. And when so. is that coming out? This year too. Okay. Well, 2020. And it, that's just for females? That, it's just for females for now. Yeah, I'm not wearing for now. velvet cakes. But, but you could buy it for wifey. Yeah, it's definitely for wifey, but I'm not wearing You could buy it for wifey. <sighs> or if you have a sister or a friend or a bestie. I heard you. You're so, definitely yeah. buying it from your sister for me. Now nah, I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, that's how we end it right there. Um, velvet cakes coming. Diamond the on diamond. the way. Diamond. Suffocated. Suffocated. Any, yes. Anything else? That's it for now. Follow me on were we Instagram. Supposed, were we supposed to throw shade on people you don't fuck with no more? Like oh. who? Who? Wait, wait, wait. Are you talking about my ex-partner? How, how are y'all? Okay, what's y'all relationship? Okay, we were just on television like a week ago. We did the Mel Robbins show. We made up. We made up. We oh, good. really? Yes. I didn't see that. It's on CBS. I mean, not CBS, Channel 11. I felt so bad. The, we, Mel, the, the Mel Robbins show. Shout out to Mo. Shout out to Mo. Okay, she right, in the spot. Right. Cause you know what in the comments. She just oh. dropped her project. Yeah, she so. she should be up here soon. I just don't want the cop. Oh, the niggas had her up here. You ain't even ask her about See, that's BBL. What I hate. It shouldn't have to be like that. You gotta feed the fans though. Hello. Hello. But yeah, I don't have no shade towards nobody. I'm outside if anybody has a problem with me though. Period. It's that Harlem shit, girl. <laughs> <laughs> and that's um let them know how to follow you, how to listen to the music and all yes, that before we go. Follow me on Instagram, sexy lexi one, S E double X Y L E double X Y. YouTube, um, dot com slash Lexi Tube. Just Google me. Bitch. I'm on the web. She outside. Not just social media. I'm on the web. You know? I say that a lot too because I feel like what's gonna happen if Instagram deletes tomorrow? I'm gonna still have a job. <laughs> Period. A lot of people not. Mm. Lexi, thank you for coming. All right, y'all. Stack that bank account. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Appreciate it. It's the sit down and we out here. Thank you. <laughs> Come and catch the vibe. Welcome to Easy Weekend. It's Easy Weekends. Come shout out M Easy and tune in to the sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down.